Is that dot com? Uh, dot org. Dot net. Dot org. Dot co. Dot o r g. Dot edu. Hey friend, I'm Danny Irizarry. And I am back. Norman. Shut up, welcome to my actor life. It's my actor life. We have a question today. I have a question today. Sea Dog Paintball Fireworks says, hey Danny, to I'm me. Back. It's, it's back. Cameron from the movie. Can you remind me of what you use to search for roles in commercials and films? No. <laughs> All right then. There are basically three uh, ways you can find roles. I'm sure there are more, but three come to mind. Uh, first one is if you have an agent. Obviously, they're the one getting you your primary roles. And then, of course, websites. And then you can also occasionally get cast with uh, um, organic casting, if you will. If you see, like, posters or somewhere with your local theater, that's another good way to get roles. More or less just public castings. Mm-hmm. Um, there, uh, there are a number of websites that you can go to. Perform.inc is one of them. Theaterinchicago.com slash auditions. The slash is very important. Very important. <laughs> League of Chicago Theaters and Mandy.com. I can't vouch for any of those, uh, those two, but yeah. they're, I'm sure they're good. Yeah. Uh, backstage, that's the most common one. That's the one both of us use yeah. uh, very often. It's very streamlined. It's basically Facebook for uh, for casting. It's 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 very much like social media. Exactly. And, and with all casting websites, you basically act as your own agent. Um, you go through casting lists and casting uh, postings, basically, and you decide whether or not you want to audition or not, based on your age range, your ethnicity, um, etc. Hair color, eye color, height, weight, all that. There's also Actors Access and Casting Networks. Those two are very commonly known and work and are usually, if you have an agent, uh, the agent and that website usually work in tandem. Exactly. And then there's also uh, Now Casting and Playbill. Playbill is more of um, on stage and it's also very informational. Um, it shows you different Broadway shows coming to your town. Um, there's also a, a section to find jobs for singing, dancing, etc. But I wouldn't necessarily label it a casting website. No, it's not. And then lastly, there's Craigslist. Craigslist. Um, that's not to say that you can't find good roles on Craigslist. I'm sure they're out there. But the, the percentage of scams to legitimate roles is scary. It is scary. Yeah, to say it, the it least. Is, it is, it's, it's the most dangerous of all of them. Not saying that all of these are safe. You have to proceed with caution with going through any of these websites because there's no guarantee that every single one of them is not going to be... Um, fake or... Uh, Someone's always going to find a way to try and scam you exactly. on whatever platform. But Craigslist is probably the easiest to scam you. So you, 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 in the same way that you have to be careful when you're buying something off Craigslist, you don't know how legitimate the seller might be. Same with casting. Do your research. Look up the director. Uh, look up other actors that might be in it. See what information you can find online elsewhere and just confirm what they've been saying on their on. Exactly. And and to go along with that and just being scammed and being um, unsafe, it doesn't matter where you got your audition from or, or who it was, um, whether you feel safe or not, if you're a minor or you ever feel unsafe, you should bring your parents um, to the first of everything, just so you know what you're getting yourself into and you're not stranded and you're not um, in, a, in a bad situation. Even if your parents are like 104, bring them along. Just bring them with. Just bring them with. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, talent agencies. Now these are just uh, in Chicago because I'm in Chicago. I'm, so am I. <laughs> yep, we're not yeah, exactly <laughs> right next to each other. Yep. Um, I am not in New York or Arizona in the middle of nowhere where, you know, they do a whole bunch of acting. Um, or Alaska. You know, they've got a lot of I hear that's actors. a big industry right now. <laughs> but there's a whole bunch of them in the Chicago area. If you're not in Chicago, you can just go online and search talent agency in your area. And yeah. a, a list of, you know, 20 of them will show up. And this list is just uh, agencies that we know and we trust. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not saying we've used all of them, but we, we have seen them. <laughs> we're just going through 
mentality and just use left and right. You're like, no, not this one. I'm done with this one. I'm done with this one. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. <laughs> The first one that I'm going to mention is Lily's Talent Agency. I am signed with them, and they've done a marvelous job of getting me jobs and have just been delightful to work with and very professional. The next one is Dre's Talent Group. They are very trusted amongst the Chicago actors. Um, there are hundreds, I would say thousands of people signed with them. They're very um, well respected. Exactly. Uh, these aren't in any specific order, not saying best to worst or worst to best, yeah. just the whole bunch of the ones that we found online because we're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got uh, Peonessa and uh, DeSanti, Talent Agency. You've got Hayes Talent that you don't want to mix up with Gray's Talent because that just you gets embarrassing, especially if you're in the middle of, of an audition. <laughs> then you have Stuart Talent Agency. How do you spell that? You tell me. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> hold on. S-T-E-U-A-R-T. That is how you spelled it. He's man. lying to you. I spelled it S-T-E-W-A-R-T. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. I, I will take a picture of your computer. You can't prove it. Big Mouth, Talent, and Grossman and Jack. S -T -E -U -A -R -T. Shut up. <laughs> Big Mouth, Talent, and Grossman and Jack. And the last one, Babes and Bows. Yeah. All of those are, are very safe options to go with. Now... If you're wondering, I am not signed with an agency. You're signed with the Nolan agency. I'm signed with me. Um, now, if you're signed with a website uh, like Backstage or Playbill it's or... It's a good way of saying it, signed with a, with a website like that. Yeah. Um, that doesn't mean that you can't be signed with an agency. You know, Danny is signed with both. Um, and, and actually, I found it really nice to be able to... My agent will get me jobs periodically, but you can also go out and find jobs on your own, build your resume, and get, get work, get practice, and just keep going at what you're you know, trying to get to where you're going to on your own. Yeah. It's also nice, though, not to, not to be signed with both because you don't have to re, you know, organize everybody's schedule together. Yeah. There's pros and cons to everything. And finally, there are things like public castings and public postings for different jobs. Now, usually you're going to see um, theater or on-stage postings, uh, but there are times where you will get uh, adverts and commercials and films. Especially if they're looking for extras or supporting characters. Exactly. Uh, if you have a local theater by you, that is a great way to stop by and see if they're casting anything, or they might even have posters on main boulevards and different walkways. You know, and you know, you could go into your local... <laughs> you can even uh, probably go into your local grocery store and find posters or advertisements uh, for, for different jobs. So it's a cool way to do it. No matter what form of finding acting jobs you use, through all of this you do have to learn to be patient because mm -hmm. you aren't going to get the star role in a movie the first time around. That's and, definitely true. And you aren't going to get you aren't going to get every audition. Um, and you know you could getting a callback also doesn't mean you have the role. That's true. I think the statistic is thirty auditions for every one role you get. So you by when you get three roles, you've already gone on ninety auditions. Yeah. That's a lot. Scary. So many times. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope. Oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, new game. Every time you say the word I, I get to slap you in the face. <laughs> Jerk. So this is just, I'm sorry, this is the first one. Go. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna take off my glasses. Hold on. Thank you for watching. We had a good time. <laughs> we did have a good time. We had a great time making this video. Uh, I. <laughs> I look forward to seeing the bloopers, because Beck's editing this one, and he's oh, going to have a real gosh. fun time doing that. It's a lot. Um, but this was a joy to make. If you guys have any questions, I'd be... Does <laughs> I count? Yes. <laughs> we would be happy to... I said we! No, jerk! We would be happy to answer them. So send us a comment, a Snapchat, a Twitter, a Facebook. No, we don't, we have, don't Twitter. have Twitter. So a Snapchat or Facebook or comment, and we will answer that in a video and have a lot of fun doing it we look forward to our next video bye <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to stay in character now i gotta think of an intro <laughs> can't use that what's happening <laughs> can't use that that was okay. so bad yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't just throw that on me like mm -hmm. ah <laughs> Is that dot com? Uh, dot org. Dot co. Dot org. Dot edu. Dot org. Dot edu. Sorry. Dot edu. Dot edu. Dot edu. Dot edu. Dang it, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> sorry.
<laughs> that edgy just gets me every time. <laughs> I can't get over that edgy. <laughs> um, personally, I just go into the middle of the street and yell, I'm an actor! And just wait for some, like, an agent to come up. That tends to work. That's it, actually how I got worked. my first gig. 